Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan and yes we are here sa wakas with an RTX 3080 tough gaming variant and a tough gaming straight setup. So kadalasan ang uh, iniisip natin pag uh, all uh, straight setup parang the brand of the motherboard, the video card, the uh, other components is iteterno mo. Kadalasan parang 6 digits yung nasa isip natin, lalong-lalo na kung RTX 3080 yung video card na gagamitin mo. Pero with this, we tried our best that uh, I think we can come up with some components na tough gaming lahat yung theme. At the same time, RTX 3080 yung gagamitin natin and itry natin isiksik kung kakasya ba at a below 6 digits budget. Okay, so let's move on to the time-lapse uh, video at the same time, benchmarks. Pero ito yung mga gusto kong uh, bantayan nyo doon sa mga benchmarks at saka sa setup natin is uh, how we did this compact build. Kasi isa rin sa mga pinaka-highlights ng setup na to is yung pagiging compact niya. Given na yung chassis is designed for an ATX motherboard, pero this chassis will give us the possibility na minsan maganda rin tingnan ang setup na kahit ATX yung board pero siksik yung laman like those uh, thing na you can find with an AIM ATX uh, motherboard chassis or uh, mini ITX compatible chassis dun mo lang nakikita kadalasan yung mga siksik yung loob pero the question is will the performance in terms of cooling good? okay ba? Yan po yung babantayin nyo sa ating mga benchmarks and of course, how we put together all of the components. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website.
Okay, so you've seen the time-lapse video and the benchmark as you have seen, hindi nagkakalayo yung temperature ng GPU at the same time the CPU is all good. So, ibig sabihin, the cooling system is not uh, kumbaga, compromise. Ibig sabihin lang neto mga kaibigan, with this chassis, which is a very good thing na ginawa ni Asus dito, they chose to design yung front panel na mesh, which is really good, especially kung compact yung setup. Kasi kung ganito ka siksik yung loob na magiging uh, compress yung mga components, looks compressed, especially na napakalaki ng RTX 3080 natin. Medyo compromise kung pupunta tayo dun sa mga uh, all-tempered front panel o kaya yung all, uh, kumbaga restricted yung airflow. Pag ganun yung setup mo sa ganitong uh, chassis na halos yung mga gagamitin mong components din is mga matataas like B550 ATX with a very good overclocking feature. The RTX 3080, sigurado hindi maganda yung magiging ventilation. Especially with this kind of positioning ng radiator na yung radiator is nasa front. Uh, this chassis is actually compatible for uh, front positioning ng radiator only. Nung nilagay natin sa taas, hindi talaga siya pwede. And even with the website ng ASUS, talagang sinabi nila dun na dun lang talaga sa harap magiging uh, possible yung paglagay ng mga uh, radiator. And uh, nakita natin dito na halos dikit na dikit na siya dun sa video card ng RTX 3080. So imagine, there will be no uh, airflow from here papunta sa taas. Mahaharang at mahaharang ng GPU yan. And uh, dito rin makikita nyo dito sa banda dito sa tapat ng GPU, medyo magkakaroon din ng restriction. Kaya napaka-importante when you are doing or creating build like this, you should always consider the fans. Ang ginamit natin dito is all Asus uh, tough fans yung included at saka at the same time yung fans na included dun sa EAO ng uh, tough. So ayun, ang ganda nung kinalabasan niya. Uh, clearance wise, yun talaga yung na-compromise Pero if you can properly route all of the cables You will have this kind of uh, setup Malinis tingnan um, There are just uh, some struggle So siguro yun yung parang magiging downside It's like you are doing a cable management for a mini ITX chassis Well, alam naman natin mga kaibigan that Asus is a premium brand with a premium pricing And uh, with this tough gaming chassis na GT301 They gave us the possibility na hindi porket naka Asus ka is kailangan mong gumastos ng sobrang laki and uh, you will be buying something that in terms of performance is hindi mo rin matatake advantage. Well, for the wrap-up mga kaibigan, uh, with my experience in building this rig is uh, nandun yung feeling na kumbaga lahat ng nilabas ko na pera in buying this is sulit. Kumbaga uh, very functional lahat. The chassis with a very good airflow, hindi restricted, the clearance, which is uh, I've mentioned earlier na trade-off dun sa pagiging compact niya is uh, compensated naman dahil eto nga na chassis or eto na build is designed for those consumers or for those budget conscious uh, end users na gusto ring magkaroon ng a bit more compact na setup. And then of course 3700X yung ginamit nating na processor dito pero pag lumabas yung uh, Ryzen 5000 you can go for the 5800X and an RTX 3080. Pero is it still relevant? Tulad ng sinabi ko doon sa previous video, yes it's still relevant especially if you will be building this kind of rig more into the rendering or production side. Pero kung more into gaming, it's better if you will load a 5800X. And I think if we will try to uh, recompute kung 5800X na yung processor, most likely medyo uh, nasa around 100K lang naman siguro yung aabutan. And then yes, if you are planning to build a good mainstream setup with a very good price to performance ratio, compact design, um, all tough gaming theme straight brand setup this is one of the build that you may consider for more videos like this feel free to subscribe